I think it's fair to say that every married couple, well, they strive to put a little romance in their lives, especially when they're taking that long-awaited honeymoon. And for somebody like me, there ain't nothing that says romance, like the smell of salt water in the air, a little fish slime on your hands, and bait fish that's aging in the sun. <laughs> and that's what we have for you today. Join a couple of my good friends from Gander Mountain. They're heading north to Craig, Alaska, in search of salmon, halibut, and honeymoon. That's next, right here on Gander Mountains. We live outdoors with me, Michael Waddell. Gander Mountains, We Live Outdoors with Michael Waddell is brought to you by Evolved Habitat, Building Better Wildlife. Stealth Count, Unrivaled Scouting Camera Technology. Ameristep, Quality Hunting from the Ground Up. Buck Bomb, The Buck Bomb Blows Away Traditional Sense. Federal Premium Ammunition, Every Shot Counts. Walker's Game Ear, the number one choice for hearing protection and sound amplification. Smith & Wesson, a tradition of quality and innovation since 1852. Today, my friends Joe and Nicole Wood were where they're going up to Craig, Alaska with Rob Inslee, their guide of Inslee Pacific Northwest Sport Fishing. They're gonna be searching the deep, cold salt waters off the coast of the Prince of Wales Island in Southeast Alaska. Now the Woodwards, well they've been married for quite a spell now, but with work and grad school and everything else in life, this is their first chance to go on a honeymoon. Now I hear tales that some young brides, well they think places like Hawaii or Paris, now that might be romantic to them. Now I think that's just strange. And the cool thing about it, so does Nicole Woodward. For her and Joe, this is a dream come true. Just like a pictured Alaska, cool and cloudy. Mm -hmm. I love it. Our dream was to come to Alaska for our honeymoon and fish and enjoy the scenery and spend time together. Uh, but I jumped into grad school and he jumped uh, into work and traveling, so it, there was never really a chance for us to do that. Um, and our lives just kind of got away from us. So I graduated in May and uh, our lives kind of slowed down a little bit and Gander gave us the opportunity to come out here and spend some time and fish and enjoy the scenery and experience Alaska and so we jumped on it. There she is. Mm -hmm. Good morning. What's up Rob? Good. The days they start early here in Craig. Fishing boats typically leave the dock around 6 a.m. It's a bit of a jaunt to the fishing grounds. I was so jazzed to come to Alaska. I didn't, uh, I mean, I'd seen video of all the fish that people catch here and the rugged terrain and the beautiful landscape. I, you know, I personally didn't know what to expect out of Catch Can and Craig. And the waters around Prince of Wales Island just teem with fish in the summer months. Literally millions of salmon, halibut, lean cod, and snapper make it home. And we've got about maybe an hour run out to where we're going, so okay. uh, we'll be going through the islands here. There'll be lots of whales, and sea otters, and wildlife along the way, so uh, lots of stuff to check out there. And like I said, about an hour run or so, and uh, we'll get to work here. Perfect. That sounds great. For you, so uh, it's, a, it's more about the experience than just the fishing. Uh, of course, the fishing's great. Uh, but if you just enjoy the outdoors and enjoy the marine environment, you're really going to love this place. Don't set the hook right away until that rod is just solid. Okay. And once the rod is solid, give it a good hook set, and that's about it. All right. We'll learn on the fly from there. But the fishing was well worth it. Yes, I'm a winner. <laughs> At least for the bride. Her first fish strikes fast. Not a walleye or a bass. <laughs> oh, it lost. No. 
Yes. Oh, it broke. Oh, I got him good. All right. King and silver salmon. Well, they gorge on bait fish right. in preparation for their journey up river to spawn. All right. Nice. Good work, guys. Good job. I wanted him to get the first one because I knew that mine was going to be so much bigger. So that's kind of what that was all about. And away, Joe. Oh, nice. wow. Nice. Coho there, buddy. Very cool. Yeah, man. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he beat you too, Nicole. I know. Sorry, hon. That's all right. Oh, Lord, love us. This segment is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Being able to come up here and spend so much quality time with a woman I love up in the great Alaskan outdoors has been quite an experience. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nicole has got to show me up, huh? I know. Yeah. Oh, it's just kind of a, it feels like a once in a lifetime, even though there'll be more opportunities, but maybe a first in a lifetime. And it's a little overwhelming in a good way just to be experiencing nature in that kind of a different way that you haven't before, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Coming from people who are experienced in bass fishing and walleye fishing, uh, that first bite was kind of a shock. It was a pretty, Pretty heavy thing. Uh, a lot of power on the fish out here, way more than we've ever seen in Minnesota, so that was pretty cool. That's a big one, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, sorry, wow. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Fun, yeah. Imagine what a big one that is. Goodness gracious, make yeah. bass feel like minnows. <laughs> Poor old Joe, the game is on. I told you I gave Joe the first one so that I could kind of over, I could steal the spotlight later. <laughs> what can I say? I, I'm the teacher, you know? <laughs> it's always good to see your pupil do well. <laughs> your pupil. <laughs> Definitely where the sport part comes into this. <laughs> All athletics here. Just about. The ocean floor is alive with halibut. They're averaging size anywhere from 20 to 60 pounds. But you can find some as big as barn doors. I'm talking 200 pounds or more. Good luck to you, friend. Yes. Oh. <sighs> My Job goodness. You stretch Thank out you. Or yeah. Or... There we go. Stretch All out right. those triceps. Look at those pipes. I know. Wow. <laughs> oh. These fish were there hanging in the deep water, as much as 250 foot down. Those ugly suckers, well, they lie on the bottom and they just wait for food to swim by. <laughs> I tell you what, this is awesome. I fish a lot, but this sort of fight I have never encountered. This is fun, a lot of fun. Oh, in the workout. <laughs> Yeah. This one's actually taking line, so I think uh, we might have a keeper here. So let's see what we got. Halibut, they're odd fish. Both their eyes are located on the same side of their face. You know, kind of like my old cousin Kenny. Come to think of it, they're a lot like Kenny. They don't work, they just lie around on the bottom all day. Throw that one in there. All right. That'll work. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Wow. That is a nice one. Nice. Oh. Good job, Nicole. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> so it cool. Is. Um, I'm used to finesse fishing for walleye and uh, to a certain degree bass, so 
Coming up here, it was quite a shock to actually have to <laughs> dig that thing in your gut and just, just ream on it. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Like I said, never know what you're going to get. <laughs> These sea dogs are only found in the west coast of North America from Alaska to Baja, California. They can weigh over 80 pounds and measure 60 inches. That's near about five foot. That is according to my Georgia math. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a wall on steroids right there. It's only a mother could love right there. <laughs> oh yeah? Like I said, you never know what you're gonna expect and that is a bizarre looking fish, yeah. but I'm sure it tastes good. I think I'm gonna wear a hole in my stomach here. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Ooh. I thought I was coming up here to relax. What's the story? <laughs> About midway through the day on a Saturday morning, um, I hooked into a big fish. As always, as the theme goes here, I had no idea what it was. Nice. Excited to see it. The battle that ensued was something I had never experienced before. We're down to 100, 120, 125. Good, go, all, oh, no, wait. 117 right now. Man, this guy can fight. This is awesome. Up to 80. Jeez. Wow. This is awesome. Quite a challenge to get that fish in, and as soon as I saw it, I saw the massive size of that thing. It was awesome. Wow, look at that Holy fish. Cow. There's good reason to see old Joe struggling with this fish. This is a trophy right here. Nice. <laughs> yeah! Look at that. That is fight. awesome. Yeah. Nice work. To find out that it's tough to catch those things this time of year and that actually kidney considered a trophy. That, King salmon was awesome and it was definitely the highlight of my trip. Just what I thought Alaska would be right here. Mm -hmm. Good job. That was a rush. Oh my god. Good job, dude. A lemon of halibut, lean cod, coho, and trophy king salmon. What more could you ask for on a first day of a honeymoon? Well, I think that was a, an amazing day. I was mm -hmm. floored with the scenery, the fish. Um, God, the highlight for me is that king salmon, but I tell you what, I'm a bit uh, pooped from uh, pulling all those fish off the bottom, so let's you know, go get something to eat. Yeah, let's go up to his hands, get a, get a bite, and get some rest, get ready for tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. All right. Let's go. This segment is brought to you by Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. It's been a dream of ours for so long to be able to come up here and experience Alaska and some different kind of wildlife. spend some time together just away from our hectic lives and away from the city and away from commitments and just to be up here together and sharing in something that we love so much back home and on such a different scale. It's just been an incredible experience for us. <laughs> Look at this dragon.
good lord. How beautiful is that? Good job. Good job. Doing good, Nick. Oh. oh, nice. It's just been awesome. I mean, I have nothing but positive memories of our time so far in Alaska. So. <laughs> Look at that one. That's a good one. There you go. Okay. I'm excited to see what this looks like. Let's see. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, oh look at those. Look at that color. That's a really cool fish. A beautiful Alaskan silver salmon, gorgeous fish. Never know what you're gonna get. There we go. You got that got one. Him. Nice. All right. Woo. Here's another one. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> How awesome is that? Mm -hmm. Double up, do si do. Awesome. All right. Sweet. Now well, that is a workout. What's going on, Nick? You got Halibut Maximus? I think I do. Awesome job, nice. Thanks, you too. Oh, no. Nice. nice. What is that? Wow, Joe, good fit. Beautiful. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by 10 Point Crossbows, the mark of perfection. Joe, you know I've eaten my fair share of salmon and even halibut, but I've never fished for them. I mean, where would you even begin to start gearing up if you're getting ready to go to Alaska to fish for them? Yeah, I mean, it's funny you ask that. I had a lot of the same questions. So what I did first was go online, and then I actually called Captain Rob Ensley, who I'm going to be fishing with. Mm -hmm. and. Um, the surprising thing is, you don't have to bring a whole lot. And actually, it's better the less gear you bring, because that just means more fish you can bring back. I got you. So really, um, the gear's provided, the bait's provided. All we need to do is worry about good, good rain wear. Yeah, you do not want to get wet. All right, this looks like the rain wear right here we're looking for. This is what y'all had on you and your wife here? Um, yep, the Tech 2 Made by Guide series. Um, you know, the nice thing about it was just that perfect weight where, um, to, you know, it could be 55 and rainy or it could be 60 and windy, and I was comfortable either way. So it right. uh, kept me dry through the whole trip, and it was perfect. You know, it's funny, this rain gear now, the technology in it has gotten so unbelievable because even when it's not raining, it's just a good windbreak. Even if it's not wet outside, it's still a good garment to wear. And what I noticed, too, you know, I'm a big hunter, but I also like to do a little fishing, but I saw this same garment pretty much right over here in the hunting section in camo, so you could buy it in camo and still fish in it. But you got you something here you can wear to the ball games too, so it's exactly. pretty cool. A lot of diversity in these garments nowadays. I love them. Sweet. Here we go, Michael. This is exactly the boot I had. This is the Guide Series boot. It's actually made by Rocky, but um, it was perfect boot. It was nice and comfortable. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, another surprising thing you don't think about is you're standing on your feet all day when you're fishing. So uh, this kept my feet comfortable, and my feet dry. Right on, man. Well, if you're gonna be out there fishing or hunting, you gotta have some cool stomps, especially in your case, because those halibut, you know, when they get right on the bottom, you got to get a grip so you can pull them on out of there. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Gander Mountains, We Live Outdoors with Michael Waddell is brought to you by Rocky. No matter where your hunt takes you, get geared up with Rocky boots and apparel at Gander Mountain. Scent Blocker, Scent Shield. Forget the wind, just hunt. Arctic Cat, more to go on. 
Realtree Jerky. Don't leave home without Realtree Jerky. Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. Outdoor Expeditions, Gander Mountain's premier travel service. Learned a lot about Alaskan fishing, saw mm -hmm. some great wildlife, some great scenery, and I don't know, I had a blast fishing. How about you? Yeah, it was awesome. Tons to see, tons to do. We just, we caught lots of fish, lots of different fish, that was fun. The whales and the otters and the sea lions and the mountains, I mean, it was endless things to look at and take in. It was a pretty incredible way to spend a few days away from home. I agree. Yeah, I had a great time. It's, a, it's more about the experience than just the fishing. Uh, of course, the fishing's great, uh, but if you just enjoy the outdoors and enjoy the marine environment, you're really gonna love this place. Spectacular species, spectacular scenery. One place has them both. That's New Zealand. Two Gander Mountain Associates chase Himalayan tar and chamois in the Southern Alps next week on We Live Outdoors. <laughs>